Hi, this is Gilles, the Radio Prepper. So you might have seen that I completed the first 49 to 1 unfed transformer that I recently used, and here's the inside. And it works very well. I mean, I put a 134 foot wire on it, and it does tune fine on a lot of bands uh, from uh, 10 to 80 meters, and that's awesome. Now, the first one I did uh, has a 3 to 21 turns winding, which means uh, 3 turns primary and 21 turns total. So that's a ratio of 7. 7 squared is 49, 49 to 1 transformer. Now, that might not mean a lot to you, but to simplify, because I think I often uh, explain things in a manner that's a little bit too complicated, but Basically, you have a very high impedance, you know, resistance to the current on your on a wire that you feed at the end. And uh, what the impedance transformer does is that it divides the impedance by 50. And so you can have uh, an impedance closer to 50 ohms, which the radio wants. Anyway, <laughs> I uh, built a second one, uh, this time with a 2 to uh, 14 winding, which of course is still a ratio of 7, which is still a 49 to 1 transformer. Uh, I did that because, well, there was the original uh, posting on the uh, Facebook uh, Half Wave and Fed group, and I highly suggest you check it out. And uh, so this second one, uh, actually, uh, I just tried it on 6 meters. And I want to try it on 30 meters too, with, of course, a half-wave wire. So uh, let's see how it uh, looks like on 6 meters. The 49 to 1 transformer is plugged into a 2.78 meter wire. And of course, that's a half-wave on 6 meters. Then I have my RG316 cable and MR100 antenna analyzer. And you can see here that the SWR is 1.05 to 1 at 50.7. Actually, no, I wanted 51.7, so let's do that. One point one to one, well, that's still excellent. CQ, 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 CQ. Ici F4 Whiskey, bravo Yankee. Foxtrot 4 Whiskey, bravo Yankee. Over. Of course, there was no answer on 6 meter FM, but you know, someday my ship will come and I will make a contact on 6 meter FM. <laughs> Later, I would like to compare the uh, 321 winding to the uh, uh, 214 winding, maybe with Whisper, the uh, digital mode that's used to test antennas, or maybe uh, with a uh, field strength meter, which I don't have yet, but uh, that would be very interesting to see if the uh, 321 winding is better than the uh, 214 winding. Why am I so interested in unfed half-wave antennas? Well, because they're very easy to use, because of course you attach them at one end and you fit them at the bottom, so you don't have to fit them in the middle like a dipole. Now, most dipoles are used horizontally and they are fed in the middle with a coax that uh, goes down and that's how you use your dipole horizontally, but having an unfed wire gives you the choice of using your antenna either horizontally or vertically. That looks like I'm... <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, it does. And uh, it's very easy to use. It's very practical. Now, the problem, the electrical problem, is that if you feed your ha half-wave and fed antenna at the bottom, you have a very high impedance, very high resistance to the current, as opposed to a dipole, which, when it's fed in the middle, you have a, about a 71, 73 ohm resistance. So that's very, very easy to match and you can actually just use a coax and connect to it directly. And the difference between 50 ohms and 70 some ohms isn't enough to cause any problem. And your SWR, which means the ratio of uh, 
the uh, signal that is being radiated to uh, what's coming back to your radio is going to be probably around 1.5 to 1, which is acceptable. 2 to 1 is you know, getting high and 3 to 1 is definitely uh, too much for most radios. Half-wave and fed antennas are also very efficient because of course they are a full-size antenna, like a dipole. So they are basically, you know, just like a dipole but fed at the end. You don't have to worry about radials or anything like that or counterpoise or it's all built in the antenna itself because it's a half wavelength. Now some people might wonder why do you persist? Why do you want absolutely to make contact on 6 meter FM? Uh, because I haven't so far. <laughs> That's just one thing. Second one is that uh, 6 meter FM is an interesting band because it's lower VHF. Sometimes it will behave like uh, HF and it works pretty well in wooden areas and you can uh, you have 6 meter FM uh, with uh, military radios like the uh, PRC351 and other uh, VHF military man packs and although uh, those are pretty heavy uh, you know I like them and the last reason well it's just for fun the SWR on 6 meter is very low on the whole band and I used a 109 inches wire, which is about uh, 2.78 meters, I believe, something like that. So that very pleases me, it's great. Uh, it makes me a little suspicious because uh, when an antenna has all the qualities that you want and it's broadband and it's, uh, f you know, full size and you, something has to give, you know, and I, I'm wondering about the efficiency. Uh, but theoretically, it should be great because, again, it's a half wave antenna. So, if someone has any insight about that, uh, let me know because I'm pretty curious about, you know, the reason. Uh, of course, it's a higher frequency, so that might explain. Uh, often, antennas on higher frequencies, I mean, most of the time anyway, are uh, broader uh, bandwidth. In the woods again, uh, we are climbing a terrail which is again the remnant of uh, coal mining. So it's about uh, 85 meters tall, about 250 feet above sea level. So we'll see. Welcome to France, where everything is prohibited. Pretty interesting countryside. The blue thing you see there is uh, the mine, the coal mine, where they took the, uh, the coal out of the ground. And you can see in the background other terrils, of course, uh, also remnants of coal mining. And I have a nice little barricade here, a nice pole to uh, set up my spider beam 12 meter mast. Here's the new uh, 49 to 1 transformer, and I have a hundred and nine inches of wire. CQ, 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 CQ. This is Foxtrot 4 Whiskey Bravo Yankee. F4 uh, Whiskey Bravo Yankee. Over. Bonjour, ici Gilles. F4 uh, Whiskey Bravo Yankee. Pour un essai de radio, merci. À la station qui vient d'appeler, ici F4 Whisky, bravo Yankee, vous me recevez Bien reçu QSL, ah, très très bien, je ne pensais pas arriver jusqu'au relais parce que euh, ici je suis près de Doué mais euh, sur un terril <rire> à 85 mètres et aussi avec un portable, un walkie-talkie. Hein. À vous. On est le chef. Je suis Moi, je suis avec un la portable aussi. Je suis dans la ville de, de Pierrochi, en Juliette Oscar 10, Lima Papa. Euh, je suis à l'étang de Pierrochi à l'heure actuelle et il y a eu une course de vélo que je suis en train de regarder. Donc, euh, je réponds à votre appel avec le 100%. Ça marche très très bien. Donc, euh, moi, je suis à... 5 km à peu près au cœur de l'île, QSL. Amazing! <laughs> We are pretty far. I'll put the map on the video, uh, you'll see it's pretty good distance. Vas-y, Hugues, c'est ici, Chic, 
Dear Ma, but there is a relay in uh, Douai, not very far from here. Oui, merci. Hein. Ben là, je suis en train de faire une expérience, enfin, de l'expérimentation avec euh, une radio en euh, 6 mètres FM. Et euh, j'essaye d'appeler euh, depuis tout à l'heure sur euh, 51.7 en FM et je n'arrive à trouver personne. Mais bon, ce n'est pas la première fois. Hein. J'utilise un PRC 352, donc une radio militaire britannique. Et euh, j'ai un mât de 12 mètres, là, en plus du terril, hein, avec euh, une antenne, euh, donc, euh, Foch, je crois qu'on appelle ça en français. Et euh, bah, j'essaye d'arroser un peu toute la région pour essayer de trouver quelqu'un sur 6 mètres FM. Mais apparemment, ce n'est pas évident. Hein. Voilà, euh, retour de micro, euh, F4, WBY. Je vous écoute, euh, je suis avec un flex et je vous parle avec moi maintenant. Ok, là, j'ai pas très bien reçu le, le QRZ, hein, l'indicatif. Donc, euh, allez-y encore une fois, s'il vous plaît, hein, de F4, WBY. Merci. Ok, j'ai bien reçu cette fois-ci, hein, merci. Hein. Donc F1, euh, Lima X-Ray Juliet. Ah bah impeccable, hein. je suis très content, c'est la première fois vraiment que je, je fais un QSO. Sur les 6 mètres FM, c'est relativement difficile de trouver quelqu'un. Et euh, là, j'ai pensé qu'en montant sur, sur le terril, ça fonctionnerait bien. Hein. Effectivement, euh, <rire> ça marche. Donc entre Lille et Lens, oui, bah, c'est pas mal. Hein. Euh, moi, je suis donc près de Douai, à Roust, euh, Waranda, sur le terril de... L'escarpelle. Voilà, à vous. So I cheated a bit. I announced on DMR that I was going to be on 6 meter FM, 51.7 megahertz. And I had one contact and as you saw, uh, it was very successful. So I'm very happy to know that at least my radio works. And the antenna performs well. I'll put the distance here. As you can see, it's quite a good distance. Now let's try on uh, 30 meters. I'm on the uh, terrace here and I'm going to throw the wire over this but I'm going to use my 12 meter mast and I'll have to move the table to attach it to the bottom and uh, set up over there. I'm going to use this uh, SOTA beams wire half wave on 30 meters and of course I have my uh, 49 to 1 transformer here and a bunch of, uh, well, a 10 meter cable of RG316, which is a bit stronger than RG174, but not as flexible. Lucky, I have some chopsticks. <laughs> well, that's pretty darn high. I better not leave this <laughs> up too long or the uh, building Gestapo is gonna come down on me. The wire isn't super tight and it comes down here. Unfortunately, it's a bit too long, but uh, that's all I can do. A very good surprise, the SWR is perfect. Oh, 1.5 to 1, that's not bad, it's really good. Well, I sure can decode that. <laughs> that's computer morse, I assume, way too fast. I heard some weak signals, but uh, uh, there doesn't seem to be much activity on the band right now.
I did make one difficult contact, but the band is just, just not open, so I'm just going to go get lunch and uh, maybe I'll try a little bit later. Not much luck on uh, 30 meters, but you know, when the band is not quite open, there is just nothing you can do. Two difficult contacts and that's it. So I just packed up and uh, called it a day. I'm very happy about the results on six meters though. And I know the antenna will work uh, with any half wave wire. So uh, very positive results with this uh, 49 to one transformer. I might do a part three on 160 meters, but I don't have a radio that does this right now, so uh, that will have to wait a little bit. Have a good one.